Bitcoin is pulling back from the 52,000 level and the popularity of so-called digital gold is widening its lead over physical gold. Jared Blickery is here with a closer look. Hey, Jared. Hey there, Julie. Let's take a look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin flows on their own and then we'll get into the gold. Interesting to look back to the very beginning of the pandemic, January of 2020, we saw this huge spike. This was this spike here coincided with the ultimate highs, roughly speaking, in Bitcoin and a lot of other tokens, also Ethereum. And then we dropped off a cliff. And then what's interesting to me is this was the year of bankruptcies and they're in the year of 2022. But you see the flows somewhat stabilizing. Arguably, the weak hands were already chased out. But now, importantly, we are on the rise again. And uh, Bitcoin exceeds its prior highs. I wouldn't be surprised to see those flows highs taken out as well. And Julie, you mentioned gold. Um, we have two different markets here, two different axes. But I want you to take a look at the shape here. We have uh, Bitcoin flows. And this is uh, all of Bitcoin. This goes back to a year earlier, January of 19, uh, 2019, and then gold. So Bitcoin had, was relatively flat throughout the this entire time. Now it is picking up this different, slightly different way of measuring. And then the gold funds, you've just seen the steady, steady drop. Is either one of them actually a great inflation hedge? That's not up for me to decide here, but just wanted to close on the price here. Bitcoin looking really, really strong. Not this chart, uh, but when we take a look at the heat map, there we go. 52,000 and change, 51,777. I think investors will take that.